We haven't been doing very many Nepenthes videos, and I have to admit, that's because during COVID, we had to push really hard into mail order, and so they took a step back. But I've been transplanting all of them, and I'm finally ready to show some of them off. One that I really have always loved, and it's a very rare plant, is Nepenthes rigidifolia. One of the wonderful things about it is the coloring, although you'll see all kinds of bright reds and chartreuse greens, even some white pictures. These are like brown, which is just really beautiful and interesting. This peristome is this shiny brown color. It can almost be kind of hard to tell the old pictures from the fresh pictures. And I have left old pictures on here. You can see this one's still, there's still living tissue all the way down to there. And although they are unsightly, especially when I'm transplanting a very rare and special plant like this, I've left these on there and I put an Osmocote pellet in there to help push it through the transplant shock and move it up to this nice new picture it just sent out. Another um, characteristic of this species is most of Pimpy's lower pictures have two wings or alas that go down the front of the picture. You can see what's this ridge here is all that there is on that. They never ever have those wings, which is really neat. I think they'll make neat hybrids in the future, although we've not uh, flowered these yet. These originally came from Louisiana Tropicals uh, years ago. We have four clones here, I believe, which is really important to note because it's extinct in the wild. There may be like one plant left. There was one original population that was poached out of existence. They discovered a second population that was kept secret, but I've heard that that's been suffering the same fate and is basically gone. So this is one of the first uh, carnivorous plants to truly go extinct in the wild. You never know, sometimes we find other locations but very important that uh, anyone who's growing that species takes really good care of it. And that's why we kept four plants because we're hoping to have a male and a female and get some seeds going. Um, the Pimpies, Bridget Apollo.